this year began so well so well for the duke and the duchess of sussex to be honest they started this year on a very high note just watching them make this moves just watching them showing people that you know what we got this we can still do it if, even without the taxpayer funded money like basically i'm like that's the way to go like basically that's the way to roll it out here that's one thing personally i can say and i'm like let's see how it goes for the hatches the deranges they have to get ready just to watch them continue walking so many red carpets continue just making moves like pop stars because i believe they deserve this in even more just watching them being acknowledged this much and the fact that people can't get out of their business because they are so much wanting to know what are these people basically doing that's where now they go wrong because they are going to continue getting bitter on daily basis because Ari and Megan aren't stopping Ari and Megan are going to continue this they better get ready for more of this the Sussexes have hired a UK best public relations executive that's according to the column being published by the telegraph and i don't know why they are always the first people wanting to speak about harry and megan's success harry and megan's moves what they are doing and what not yet they are not ready to address the misfortune the mysterious things happening back in the uk with their left overs i have been uh, pleasantly surprised by the charges by the changes we've seen from the duke and the duchess of sussex this year especially with the launch of the sussex.com they're all in one site where they basically issue press release and uh, descriptions of what they are up to and what events they have attended some have even suggested that sussex.com is their instagram is their instagram i still hope that they actually start a business instagram but whatever i knew communications strategy is definitely a play and megan's got a new podcasting deal and there are still lots of reports that she will be launching something big this year perhaps a lifestyle site or a something of the sort well the telegraph reports that headed of this big mysterious launch megan and harry have hired a uk best public relations executive to help out with the international aspect of whatever is being launched that's what they had to say and i'm like let's see how it goes if that's so then good for them but if these are just stories that are made up by them you know telegraph likes and the rest we ain't surprised because one thing they knew or one thing they thought would happen is Ari and megan's downfall that's one thing they predicted for so long but unfortunately it's not happening unfortunately it's never happening the rest of that telegraph piece is gloom and a doom from prediction that netflix would not renew the success contract next year to another mention of the spotify mess when reciting the successors need for funding they always conveniently leave out the massive success and uh, the sussexes have already ranked up from harry's best-selling memoir to their hit netflix docuseries to netflix investment and uh, to megan's investment as for the idea that we will soon get to see megan's big new project i don't know will it be more like preserve or damper gems whatever it is it better involves cooking and a recipe and i am interested in the fact that the sussexes want or need a uk best executive to handle the european aspect of whatever it is personally i'm like whatever they have in store whatever they are working for i'm ready to watch i'm ready to go through it because I believe it's going to be another bombshell. It's going to be another banger. 
and for the hatchet they'll be like so this is what they're working for like they won't they'll be surprised and shocked at the same time because at the moment there are no leaks at the moment they have no communication of what Ari and Megan are working on. They know nothing that is awaiting compared to what would happen while they were still back in the UK. They will get to get information prior the event to happen. And Ari and Megan were like, you know what, we're putting an end to this. Look at what they have now. They're left speechless. They don't have stories to publish. They don't have things to talk about because basically they don't have close sources close to Harry and Meghan to assist them in kind of, you know, leaking information for them to be able to continue just leaking more and more information. We so sorry for them, but I can say they just need to adjust to, to live in a, this way because Harry and Meghan are never going to give them a chance. They won't like the outcome, but Harry and Meghan are never giving them a chance at all. Because they've learned it the hard way. They've learned a lesson all throughout. So I'm like, it's them to adjust. It's them to accept to the fact that, you know what, we end doing this. It's them to accept the fact that Harry and Meghan are never getting back. Harry and Meghan are never failing. They just need to adjust to the fact that what they are so much anticipating for to happen to the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex is never going to happen. Never going to happen at all. That's one thing personally I can say. And I'm always super proud and bold because I'm like, Harry and Meghan are people with lots of senses. And they always don't look about today, but always also want to check up of what they want to be tomorrow. What they'll want to see or what they'll want to have as an outcome in the next day. And that's why whatever they do turns out a success. Whatever they do, it's kind of just hitting them and hitting the haters and the derangers because they are not ready to see this whole outcome. I'm so sorry for them. That's all what I can say on my side because I'm like... Yeah, it's happening. Harry and Meghan are doing it. This year, they started it on a high note and they're like, we're not stopping. We literally end stopping at all. I don't know what you think. I don't know if you're so much impressive with what they are doing. On my side, I'm super, super happy for them. I'm super, super happy for what they have for us that is yet to be released that's on my side the duchess is going to launch a big new commercial venture cool if it is it happens but not sure what the telegraph knows about anything don't they say she's just kind of trying to the other some people who always tend to say that Tari and megan are just showing off themselves that's what they've said over and over every month always but now look what they are saying. Kind of trying to change the whole narrative. But I bet they themselves know nothing about the same. So somebody said, I need a healthy lifestyle cookbook from Duchess Megan. I have to head back out to work and would like something I can refer to for quick lunches and dinners. Healthy fun meals to create to fit my busy schedule that's far the person's thinking that's for what he or she is so much anticipating for and that's a very positive remarks but we all can't tell what they have for us in store what they are working on at this particular moment it's for us to be patient and just see what the outcome will be but i'm very much sure and positive it's going to be an extra extra amazing outcome that's from my own perspective i don't know what's your take on this kindly just comment down below and that was our today's video and hoping to see you guys in our next video